What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna take a look at how to flip stocks on Robinhood. So get ready for some free game, we're about to get it. All right guys, so we are back. All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at one of my strategies that I use to pretty much flip stocks on Robinhood. All right, so the stock that you see up on the screen right now, the ticker symbol is TKAT, and this is the stock that I actually did the um, tutorial with today. And um, it's pretty much a stock that deals in art, but this stock is actually blowing up or trending today because of news of this particular company getting into um, NFTs, which NFTs, as you guys know, it's uh, pretty much a way for artists to make digital art. You know, it could be, you know, painting, music, whatever, you know, graphics. It could be anything. It could be a video clip. Well, this art company is supposedly getting into it. News got out about it. And the stock has been spiking ever since. All right. So that's the stock that we're going to take a look at today. Now, before we get into that, um, I pretty much just want to show you two ways that you can identify stocks so you could get into. So we're, we're pretty much um, looking at penny stocks right now. So the app that I have up is the penny stocks app. Um, right now on the screen here, we have uh, five dollars selected. So. We're going to look at stocks around that price range, right, or below. And then we're, as far as volume, we want anything over, you know, 500,000. And we're going to go ahead and just click on um, penny stock gainers. And when you click that, it just brings up a list. Now, it has the volume here. It has the opening, the high, the low, and the percentage gain. And you could use something like this to just determine if this is a particular stock that you want to get into. The other app that I wanted to show you guys is Stockwits. And if you install Stockwits, once you look towards the top, it has a trending segment up here, right? This little section here, which is updated every five minutes. So you could look at pretty much the percentage change. You get the ticker and you also get that little line chart that shows you what direction the stock is pretty much going in. Um, I call this going up the hill. And you want to try to see if you can get in somewhere around the bottom or the middle of the hill. You never want to get in when it's all the way at the top because, you know, there's a potential that it might start to come down. All right. So those are two ways that you can identify the stocks. There's more ways, but this video is not really about that right now. All right. So let's go back over to Robin Hood. All right. So we're going to look at uh, Takong Art. And um, the strategy behind this is to see if we can get some money, right? Put it into Robinhood and then make a purchase and then obviously sell when we've made a profit on top of whatever we've put in. So for this example, I'll just show you guys. We'll go ahead and we'll go to buy, right? Now at the top here, you can see it says shares. We're going to go ahead and switch that from shares, right? And we're going to go ahead and select dollars, right? Now, once you put it in dollars, you can determine what you want to invest in this stock to try and flip. All right. As usual, don't do any type of trading with money that you don't intend to lose. So, you know, let's say we're going to play with $100, right? We'll put $100 in. And um, we'll go ahead, hit review, and then swipe up, and it'll buy a hundred dollars of that particular stock. All right, so that's pretty much the strategy. Now, the reason behind that is once you buy a hundred dollars worth of this particular stock, you pretty much have a square set figure that you could work with. All right, now you could also buy it in shares and buy a certain amount of shares. I just want to show you today real quickly how you could take that hundred dollars and probably, you know, make 20 percent, 10 percent, 15 percent on that hundred dollars. All right. And some people might say, oh, 15 percent is not a lot or 20 percent is not a lot. It is. 
Because if that $100 was sitting in the bank, you wouldn't get anything on $100. Believe me. No saving account out there is going to give you any kind of returns on $100 within a day or two. All right? So now we're going to assume that we went ahead and purchased the stock for $100. All right? So we're going to scroll down here. And I just want to go ahead and show you my history. So you, as you can see today, I bought that stock for $100, right? I bought $100 worth of TKAT. Now, the strategy from here on out is to, one, try to at least make back what you put in. So I want to sell as soon as I realize that I have recouped or made back my hundred dollars so if we scroll up a little bit now we could see i bought on the 17 a hundred dollars worth of this particular stock and on the 18th i sold it again right i sold a hundred dollars worth so pretty much what that looks like you just go to um you know click on if you own the stock it's gonna say buy and sell you would click on sell you would change it from shares and you would put it to dollars and then you would just go ahead and sell a hundred dollars worth of whatever the stock is all right so that's where we are now once we get that out the way whatever is left behind is house money you already secured your money all right so this is money that you made in other words what you're leaving in now is your profit and you can leave this profit in and watch it to see it go up so in this instance for today i'll scroll up so you guys can see I ended up making $40 profit on my $100 investment from yesterday. So I put $100 in. I sold $100 worth of the stock once it went up. And I left the remainder in there to continue. And just before market close, when it reached where I feel, okay, you know what? I made enough and I took profits and I sold. Now at this point, when you're selling, you, you don't want to sell in dollars. What you want to do is change it back from dollars to shares. And it will pretty much show you exactly how much shares you have. So in this case, I had like 1.XYZ shares. And you put that exact dollar amount in and then, you know, swipe up and it'll sell. And that's it. So just like that, like I said, I made a hundred, uh, I put a hundred dollars up yesterday, which was March 17th. And then today I sold, made two sales, and I end up making $40 on top of my $100. So that's what, 40% gain? You can't beat that. All right, so let's look a little bit more close at the transaction. So I'm going to go ahead and just click the first one here. And you can see that it says here on March 17, I bought $100 worth of the stock. And it was filled, and I got pretty much like 4.76. Uh, shares. All right. So we go ahead now and we hit back and we go back to where I sold, right? It says here now on March 18th, I sold 3.41 shares for a hundred dollars. So that again, like I said, is just securing my money. So I'm securing the capital that I put up. All right. So at this point now, everything is just profit. And then the final sell, right? I sold 1.34 shares and that was for a total of $40.26. So that's pretty much what I made. So it's real simple, guys, real easy. Um, if you're doing this, you know, I started out with just $100, you know, and then as you get more comfortable in like identifying certain stocks or you see that the stock is moving at a particular um, pace that you think it's going to go up, then you start to, you know, you start to experiment and you could start to increase the amount of funds that you put in. So you could probably start out with, like I said, a hundred dollars. Hell, you could start with fifty dollars. All right. But the same the, the same strategy will work for you. Right. And then once you get into the habit of like learning the particular stocks and looking at whatever trends you need to look at to see how the stock is moving and what direction it's going, then you can make your entry, make your profit, and then get out. Now, if we go back to this stock, you can see right now, when I sold, right? When I sold today, 
I think it was like around thirty dollars. If we look back now, pre market or sorry after market, it's up thirty six dollars and twenty three cents. So it is possible that this stock could run up again tomorrow. You know, I'll check again in the morning and maybe I'll jump back in again. You know, but I, I specifically did this purchase with just a hundred dollars today just to show you guys how easy it is to actually flip stocks on Robinhood by just doing a little bit of research. Um, don't blindly buy stocks, still do your research, make sure the stock is trending. And I personally wouldn't hold a stock for more than two days. All right. Hope you found the video useful, guys. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks again for watching the video. Peace.